Hi and welcome back to the e-commerce unit. This tutorial will cover a um, custom basket that I've put together for use with uh, the Stripe modules. What we've got here is one single custom server action which we have here which deals with all of the requirements that would need to run a basket um, or ready for product selection. It does use database tables, database man, you know that, I'd sort of always fall back on my old friends. As far as basket's concerned, it gets a unique ID. We manage it via the current um, server sessions. We store the product ID and quantities are required. We have three qualifier fields here and you'll see how they are used. Option to add a user ID at a later date and we will obviously check the date that was added to the basket so we can clear all baskets that have been abandoned and i'll just be using a very simple product table three entries in it it's uh, brian's coat custom coat factory so we have uh, men's coats women coats and unisex coats item ids in this case are numeric they don't have to be the the checkout will create cater for numeric or alphanumeric um, codes so that's there's no worry there and the costs I've chosen to do in the most base unit. So these are effectively pennies because we're in the UK, so we're pounds and pence. Um, that again is my choice. Everything is configured at the App Connect end for display, so you can uh, use either you want. So I'll just drag those off and I'll show you how this server action works. So there we are, we've got Pines custom coat company I'm just going to start by adding a man's coat so we're going to have one man's coat it's going to be size extra large um, it's going to be a red coat and it's going to have blue sleeves Click add the basket there we see that's now added to the basket um, Gives you unit prices, gives you a running total, gives you a basket total at all times. Actually, I wanted two of them, so I'll just change that to two, click update, and there we are, that's updated now. Two, two, one, two pounds fifty each, two units, five pounds, basket total, five pounds. Let's now add a woman's coat in there. We want one woman's coat, it's a medium size, it's going to be orange with green sleeves. Let's add that in. There we are, we've got that added to the checkout as well. Checkout has a degree of intelligence. If what you ask for here exactly matches an item here, it won't add it as a new item, it will increase that item. So we go back into women's coats and we go back to uh, adding one more. Let's make it a medium orange coat with green sleeves. These match exactly this entry, so what it will do is it won't create an extra entry. What it will do is it will automatically update this to two items. So there we are, as we see, it's detected that that's a matching item and it is increased the quantity to rather than putting a new entry in. And of course, we can remove those items whenever you want just by clicking the remove button. As I say this is all done by a single server action. I will be attaching the server action uh, as a zip file to the tutorial. So anybody who isn't comfortable working with Server Connect and databases can simply drop it in like a black box. And uh, if you follow the App Connect then tutorial I'll be doing, you'll see how that can be used as a general purpose um, checkout. The three extra fields here, um, they are op optional. Yeah, the, the, the ability to have them is there in the database. The ability to use them within the checkout is there. If you don't need them, you simply hide them. It's not a problem. So uh, I hopefully I'll be adding the App Connect and Server Connect modules fairly soon.